Alright. Alright, looks like everything's running well. Welcome, welcome. Back to a Radiant Dawn. Today we are getting pretty darn close to the end of part three. We have to do two Dawn Brigade chapters. Um which is always a little worrisome because the Dombrier kind of stinks, but uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. We have our Meg, of course, who we haven't seen in a while, who's level 9, actually. It's pretty tough to get these units to um, tier 3 in uh, the Dawn Brigade, but Let's see, where's Nolan? Nolan's also level 7. Okay, so not bad. That's right, Nolan has capped speed right now, which, to be fair, so does Meg, but Meg caps at 22. Nolan caps at 27. That is a crazy amount of speed to have. Um, and actually really good, because it's pretty rare that you actually see, uh, uh, doubling at this stage. Hey, Rabbit. Welcome, Vin. Welcome. Broken unit? Yeah, absolutely busted. Look at this. Look at this beast. Uh, do you have any bonus experience? I'd love to give her some levels. Okay. Because she should be guaranteed some good, uh, some good stats. Is Eddie gaming? Uh, Eddie is still alive, but I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly call him gaming. In fact, I don't even know why, but he doesn't actually have his... Uh, what does he... He should at least have his sword. I don't know why he took his sword off. He's literally the only, the, the only bit that can use it. The only person that can use it. No, unfortunately, we're not Eddie gaming. We, uh, we're Meg and Nolan gaming. <laughs> but he is still around at the very least. Okay, so we can get a... This is not very good. This is not very good. The, it's weird that you can buy a Beast Killer now. Because there are no... Oh, I, I, no, I guess you do fight Lagoos in the next chapter, huh? Yeah. You don't really need it, though. Um, I think Soth still has a Beast Killer. S Fire Emblem. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, is there anything else we want to do? I don't have a lot of money. I, th I think I sent basically all my money to the, uh... Oh, we do have a Master Crown. So... The only person we can really Master... I mean, I guess I could Master Crown Meg, but I don't really want to. Because she's going to get some pretty busted level ups. I could Master Crown Tyranio. Huh. I've never really thought about Master Crowning Tyranio, but I feel like that could be good, right? I have a Brave Bow, that's right. Um... Everything for you, mend and unlock. Is Leo gaming? No, Leo, Leo is also not gaming. Although Leo actually does have his legendary, or not legendary, but his specific uh, bow. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately on, on hard mode with the experience limitations, it's really hard to make a lot of people game. So when you, when you decide to make Meg game, it's hard to make a lot of other people game, unfortunately, but well worth it in the end. I believe Meg did finally get to D. Yeah, so she can use Iron Lances, which is pretty cool. Look at all these powerful Lances I can get. She can't use any of them. Uh, and then... I can afford a Javelin. Okay, a Javelin's gonna be quite good because... A Javelin's gonna be really good on the next chapter. Better than a Wind Edged, I think. Ton of people to talk to. I have to head back to the castle. I have to know uh, if there's a way to break free of the Blood Pact. Please be careful. Please, Micaiah, stop being so kind to me. It's too difficult for me. I can feel how you've suffered. You've had to endure um, all alone for so long. It's ghastly. It was my fault. I brought this curse upon Dan. No, you didn't. No, you didn't know. I will protect Dan. I'll protect our country from harm no matter what happens. You have my word. Micaiah, very well. I won't give up. We'll fight destiny together. Yes. I want you to take this. I found another uh, one of them in the treasure room of the castle. Stand fast, Micaiah. I will find a way to save Dan. Oh, another Master Crown. Edward and Leo gave me time in, in for only heroes. Are they in heroes? Well, if I have a backup Master Crown, I feel like I should just Master Crown Tyranio. What does Tyranio have to say? So, the hello, General. I thought you were going to leave the army, taking Lady Micaiah with you. I was, but now we can't. Both Micaiah and I are from Dan. We can't depend on our own country. I wonder if it's the same if you leave Dan. I don't understand. If you abandoned Dan and fought on the side of a different country, I wonder if you'd still be cursed. Who knows? I'm not a sage. In any case, it doesn't matter. Micaiah would never leave Dan behind. I see. So here, take these. Why are you giving these to me? 
Uh, I kept them as a parting gift. I kept them as a parting gift to you. I kept them as a parting gift. Since you're staying, I'd like you to... Oh, oh I see. I'd like you to take them now. General. So boots! Wow, I actually... For, you get the boots with the... I don't know what I'm going to do with the boots, to be honest. Master Crown Soth? I think... I don't think you can Master Crown Soth, though, right? Because isn't Soth's promotion like a story-based one? I was thinking about that, too. I think Master Crown Soth could be cool, but... I think his promotion's story-based, unless I'm mistaken. They just announced for the next reset. Oh, they're they're doing uh, Edward and Leo. People people seem to really like Edward and Leo, so I, I'm I'm not shocked. I suppose these are all the funds we have uh, for the near future. The problem now is stopping the Apostles' army from advancing. Conventional tactics won't slow them down. They'll easily break through our lines. What should we do, Makaya? Are you alright? I'll leave the gold here. You're still not uh, completely recovered yet. You have to rest, Makaya. I'll try. Keep safe. Oh, we get some money. Okay, I guess I, I have a little bit more money to work with than I thought. No, let's start to keep you waiting. Hey, so don't worry. I was reading while I waited. I didn't realize you were such a dedicated reader, Nolan. It's human nature to crave knowledge. I thought you would uh, you would know that as well as anyone. How's Micaiah, by the way? Is she doing well? Yeah, I believe so. She's alert, and she seems generally stronger. I see. Well, that's good, right? Sorry to make you worry. Don't uh, Don't mention it. And I brought this for you. Hey now, this is a good act. Must have cost you a fair bit, thanks. Null and I. Don't force it, you'll only hurt yourself. What? You look like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're wondering if you should uh, tell me, right? Right. The best thing to do is think it over. Give it some time to sit. Later, if you decide you want to tell me, you know exactly where to find me. I will, thanks Nolan. Anytime. A tomahawk? That's actually pretty nice. Uh, I want to keep the vulnerary. This iron axe is probably not where I want to be. Event promotion part four. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Leo's awesome. I really wanted to. I really want to make Leo work, but man, his level ups are just. We we had to reset a bunch of times, and every time he like refused to get even one good level up. It was so sad. Um. Okay, we could boots Meg, but the thing about booting, the thing about bo using the boots at all during this part is that um. You don't really need movement. Wait. I can't use the tomahawk. Oh, I have to be S. Uh, movement is not particularly useful in these chapters. Now, if you're trying to efficiently clear these chapters, then of course movement is useful. But in our case, movement is not particularly useful. Um, so I think I'll just save the boots for now. I will also master crown Tyrannio because, I mean, why not? Tyrannio, he doesn't really need it for this chapter necessarily, but he'll be important for the next chapter and will be fairly useful here. Boots Soren? That is an option. For our purposes, uh, I didn't train Soren, so I'm not sure who I'm going to boots. Yeah, I don't know. We have boots and celerity, so technically we have two boots right now. I think in the end I may boots Meg, but again, right now I don't think it's important for our purposes. Boots plus celerity. I hadn't, I hadn't considered boots plus celerity. That sounds kind of dope. Boots plus celerity. Uh, I don't have like a horse slayer or anything. Oh, you can use axes? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, sure. He attacks down a lot, so that'll be good. Okay, so you you don't need any two range here. The crossbow is pretty useless at this point. Um, I should probably just get you a hand axe. Oh my god, I can buy killer axes. Holy shit! Well, Nolan's already pretty stacked as far as weapons go. What, what was in the bargain again? Yeah. I like that it says, has an unusually high chance of scoring a critical hit. 10 crit! Not that impressive. Boots, Celerity, Gaytree. Gaytree can be beast. We also didn't tra train uh, Gaytree, but Gaytree can be really good for sure. Meg is, uh, Meg is our Gaytree for, uh, for this playthrough. Um, Is there anything else I want to do? I think I'm probably good with what we have. Again, this chapter, Tarania definitely has a vulnerary. Okay, really important that he does. Uh, and then Meg has a vulnerary. Yeah, Vogel gets a vulnerary. Oh, I guess I can, um... Boots Gareth. <laughs> Boots Gareth is a wild thing to say. Uh, do I have anything else? I have Parody. I don't think Parody's very useful. Yeah, Beast Foe doesn't do anything here. Zahark has Wrath. You have Imbue with seven magic. Jesus. So Wrath is a really interesting skill, but the thing about this chapter is it's very, like defensive so having a uh 
thing like Wrath is actually a little bit scary. I don't think I want anything else. Beast of Leo. Can he even use it? Yeah, he can't. He has to promote to use it, unfortunately. Beast Photo doesn't do anything here, but it will do something on the next chapter. Okay, let's run it. I think we're good to go. It looks as if the Apostles' forces are heading using this are using this road to avoid a head-on confrontation. I guess we're right in assuming that they don't necessarily want to fight. Okay, are you still set on this? Are the are the rocks ready? Yes, they're in position. General uh, Miles' forces have encountered General Ike's Lagu's forces. The battle has begun. The, DK, the decoy operation succeeded. The Apostle and her holy guards are headed this way. All forces get in position. Our target is the Apostle. We will attack, uh, we'll attack her with while well, General Ike is distracted. If we let her through, her army will cross into Benyan. That will surely anger the Senate, and the Senate will move to destroy Dayan. We must fight with everything we have so that Dayan may live on. Makai, is this really necessary? We can't avoid all this fighting. Or can't we avoid all this fighting and somehow pretend to obey the Senate? Makai... Uh, it was you more than anyone else who used to hate plans like this. The Apostles' army has incredible numbers. We wouldn't stand a chance taking them head-on. They would march right through us. We need to give Peleus more time. But if we hold back, the Senate will uh, know we're up to something. For now, let's just try to draw this out a bit and stop the Apostles' army. Lady Micaiah, your strength moves me. I shall not falter. Micaiah, alright, let's do it. Let's do it for our friends and for our country. We have visual conf uh, confirmation of the Holy Guards. They're headed this way. We're about to commit some war crimes. Boots Laren, but she can't recruit him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boots Laren is pretty funny. To prevent you from wasting the boots on him? Yeah, or any other like status stuff. Or uh, that would be funny if you boots the if you boots them. Okay, so this chapter is very similar to the first one we did, where it's a defeat a certain amount of enemies chapter. So really, it's like a defend chapter. If you're trying to do it efficiently, obviously you like, you know, want to kill a lot of units very quickly. But for our purposes, it's basically just a defend chapter. There are some of our friends here, like Sigrun and Tanith. Um, and I think, yeah, I think Makalov, or sorry, Kieran is here. I don't know why Kieran is here. Um, yeah, it looks like that's about it, but... For, for the purpose of this chapter, basically we want to use this two-tile choke as a uh, as a choke um, to not have to encounter too much. And the Tyranio can help out over here, so we have Meg, uh, Leo carry. Look at Leo up here. What a beast. Do you have any Olivai grass or anything? I don't think I do. Thankfully, there aren't a ton of flyers uh, for the enemies, so you can use chokes here really efficiently. And also, you have a lot of ally units to help you out, of course. Yeah, you should just have Tyranio go down here. Because you can get some free kills. Usually what will happen is somebody will attack him from the bottom and then somebody will go here. Tyranio dying is a game over condition, um, but I've never seen him die here before. Which is definitely a famous last words. Uh, it means he's about to die, but hopefully that's not the case. Okay, so take 11 damage here. That's not too bad. Uh, and then... The problem with Nolan is going to be that he's going to double. Yeah, I think he's too strong. Maybe I... And his defense isn't that good. Maybe I actually should have brought the... Uh, the crossbow. I guess I don't kill. 16 defense. Yeah, I guess there's no way I'll one round. Yeah, this is probably okay. I think I would rather Meg take two hits, right? She has better defense. Yeah, 22. Meg also has good res, which is kind of cool. The yellow units will uh, will help me here. They'll they'll act as uh, kind of annoying. Here, let's push this. The nice thing about the rocks is they don't care about defense, so they always deal ten, which is obviously good against uh, generals and such. But obviously, we also have like uh, Soth and Zaharak, who can also take a little bit of the pressure here. Sick. Yeah, these Dawn Brigade chapters have a lot of uh, yellow units that help you out. Which is good, although they do some, some pretty dumb stuff sometimes, obviously. And luckily, unlike some other games, um, like the GBA games, for example, when you play them on hard and... 
the ally units they give you are absolutely useless. The ally units in this game, they're obviously a lot better when you play on normal or easy, but they they still hold up at least like fairly well, which is good. There's actually some unpromoted units here too. It seems like the the game at least understands that the Dawn Brigade kind of blows. 313 Archer. Uh 313 is the next chapter, isn't it? Yeah, there's some uh Oh yeah, there's like a sniper on the last chapter that does some weird shit. <laughs> but uh But yeah. Blast for being ambushed. I should have known what is happening. We're under attack. We'll engage them. Please stay. Uh, please stay inside the carriage, Your Majesty. Someone, go tell General Ike. We're good. Yeah, this chapter doesn't have anything like the three thirteen archer. I don't think there's like a unit on this chapter that does some really dumb shit. These uh, these wyverns I think are actually pretty strong. Although they miss a lot. Again, because because the stats of all these units are like very comparable, you see a lot of like buyer of them defines whether they hit or miss quite a bit. You can, if you want just a ton of experience, uh direct all the ally units to go like sit in a corner. But for our purposes, that's a little dangerous, of course. Oh, I double that guy. Wow. That'd be really nice if one of the yellow units would go sit next to Tyrannio, but you do have these snipers that help you out. Although this side's going to get destroyed by uh, that Falcon Knight that's about to fly up there. Nice. That's one of the other things you have to be careful about is there, there are some Falcon... I mentioned there's not a ton of flyers, but there are some Falcon Knights that like to uh, fly around your back line, and you can uh, you get into some pretty scary situations, especially with a lot of your weaker units. Wow, that Falcon Knight doesn't double that general. That's kind of crazy. I'm a little surprised. Okay, as you can see, this is a bit of a clusterfuck. <laughs> Uh, because this guy's going to fly around and attack him. Let's get Leo out of here, because he's going to get destroyed by the Falcon Knights. Um, this guy, I think, will just die to the Sniper, so we don't have to worry about him. Sure, I'll just chuck a Hand Axe at this guy, or Short Axe. Uh, now as far as this Clusterfuck goes, <laughs> uh, what is going on? How much damage can I deal? Not enough to kill. Three. How much did you deal? Only 19? Yeah, it's not that much. Five. There's 23. Yeah, it's not really enough. My units are uh, not what you would call good. Um, did Jill do anything? One damage. I mean, that's something. It's more than zero. Can't deny that. Do I not even double? I don't, wow. These guys are fast. Yeah, this is the so this is the thing I was saying before with Meg, unfortunately, is despite the fact that she has cap speed, which you'd think would be amazing, um, cap speed of 22 or 23, sorry, is not enough to double every unit on this chapter, which really kind of blows. Nolan, on the other hand, does double everything, because he's, you know, 27 speed's pretty ridiculous, but. Meg does not have that luxury, unfortunately. Here, she can help you out here. A 
How fast is Micaiah? 16? Okay. So yeah, she gets doubled. If she gets to 17, I'll, I'll feel at least okay about using her, but... <laughs> Meg is so small. <laughs> Look how short Meg is. Alright, let me pick you up. Let me... Drop you... There's a lot of rescue dropping to be done in this chapter with like your healers and stuff, which can get a little tedious, but... If you want to be safe, it is the way to go. I really should have give. I keep forgetting to give Laura a like attacking weapon. Not that... I mean, she does heal pretty much every turn, so it's not the most crucial thing in the world, but... It would be kind of nice to have light or something. Okay, I think we're good. Basically, we're gonna want to keep this formation going for the entire chapter. We'll slowly work our way through the 40 units. Again, the yellow units will help us out for a long time here. Yeah, that guy's dead. Unfortunately, the sniper won't ever go down to stand next to Tyrannio, as useful as that would be. I also think these guys don't move, which is really unfortunate. Oh, actually, they might be able to kill him. Okay, that's good. A lot of times they miss, although the other Falcon Knights will still be very annoying to deal with. Actually, can that one Falcon, Falcon Knight get to Volug? I wonder if he can. I'm not sure. Again, you gotta be careful, because the, the Falcon Knights can uh, fly over the mountains. Oh, okay, well now he definitely can't. Alright, well I'm just never killing this guy. <laughs> I think that's uh, been determined. Look at, look at this, look at, this is such a clusterfuck, holy shit. Okay, this is good. This guy coming up here and not the, uh, uh, the Sage is kind of nice, because the Sage could potentially, like, crit Terranio, so. That is nice. Also, that guy now put himself in the range of the, uh, Archer, who should be able to kill him pretty easily. Received a vulnerary. Oh, did he trade for the vulnerary? <laughs> yeah, this guy just always dies. I wonder if there's like a. I wonder if there's. If it's like a good idea to maybe send Fiona over here to pick this dude up so he'd have two physic healers. Because that guy just always dies. Like I said, th these Falcon Knights are going to wreak havoc on this backline here. Okay, well, the clusterfuck continues. Um, so this guy's just gonna... Oh, I don't know if he'll die to the sniper. 29. No, not even close. This guy has so much defense. Um, let's just kill this guy. I think the sniper's moving before the sages, so I should still be able to fight a sniper. It's another kill. It'll help us out. Okay, what the hell is going on over here? Um... So, I guess I'll kill you. Yeah, that looks fine. And then, can I maybe, like, kill one of these guys? Uh, I'm one short, huh? Don't you have a support with, uh, Edward? Oh, it doesn't give attack. God, it's such a clusterfuck. I guess I'll heal this guy so he'll just go right back into the battle. Um... I just deal too much. Although the yellow units are going to do a lot of my work for me here. I'd have to heal you. Makaya has a... St but it doesn't... I can't rescue Makaya though. 
Okay, this is fine. This is still okay, because the yellow units will be able to kill this guy pretty easily, even though I don't get the kill for Nolan. That's all right. Again, it's just all about getting the kills. Um, I guess that's all I want to do. <laughs> this is such a clusterfuck. Here, maybe Volu can help out up here. Although he won't transform for a couple of turns. Maybe he's a Hark too. Actually, let's move. Let's get Leo over here. Uh, so should probably stay here with Micaiah. Okay, that should be good. This guy actually gonna die? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that sniper has some balls putting himself where he just did. Oh, I could have shoved that guy, actually. Yeah, I should have shoved that guy. I didn't realize. He, I thought he was in range of the uh, uh, Falcon Knight, but I could have shoved him. That would have been a good idea. There was often brought up to highlight the protagonist centered morality of awakening. Uh, oh, nice. Well, he didn't kill the other guy, but that's fine. Awakening when Robin does something pretty similar to stop the. Oh, I don't even remember Robin doing that in Awakening. Jesus Christ, did they really do that in Awakening? They burn a bunch of people. Holy fuck! Yeah, I didn't realize that. Well, I think in I think for the purposes of this game, even though what Makai is doing is like horrible. I mean. If she doesn't like, if she doesn't stop Benyon and or uh, the Alliance in some way, her like entire, you know, country will die. But yeah, I, I don't remember them doing that in Awakening. That's crazy. Causing over the human right cost of the tactic. Yeah. But in this, I, I don't remember exactly what leads up to it in that game. But at least in this game, like. There is a, well, for one thing, like you said, everybody is criticizing Micaiah for what she's doing, but there's like a reason, like obviously she's extremely, you know, at an extreme disadvantage here. Like even, even the like fiery ambush, but even the like, the ambush in general and like, even, um, something that they didn't mention was the idea that she sent somebody else's like platoon to go distract the Laguz Alliance and uh, and Ike, who I'm assuming were just sent to their deaths. And Fire Emblem has a long standing, like, like they like to talk about the, the morality of that quite a bit, the idea that like, you shouldn't just send people to their deaths. Right, well actually this game has a good example of that in um, the Crimean rebel guy, like leaves a bunch of his soldiers to die to distract so he can go. And we're supposed to believe he's a bad guy for that, which he is. But Makai does that as well. But again, it's it's like viewed as, you know, her like desperation and, and not a particularly good thing. Prisoner and fleet of enemies out of desperation. The other character say, "Good job, bro." Now let's invade their next. Uh, let's invade the next continent. Jesus, yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, I don't remember that happening. But that's crazy. Robin does burn some ships. God damn. Yeah, that's that's pretty messed up. I don't think Fire Emblem ever does a particularly good job at like expanding on like moral questions like that, because it's it's tough to ever. I don't know. I think it's tough for the like the format of Fire Emblem to ever uh, be particularly nuanced in that regard. Was what good guys is up for the bait. That is interesting. I mean, I definitely think, I definitely think it's the latter of what you said. I think it's um, I I would assume, especially well, I don't know if it's the same writers that wrote both games. Obviously, oh, we killed all the pegs. Holy fuck, they killed all the. I feel like they never deal with all the Falcon Knights, but definitely the reason that that, that it's like criticized in this game and not in that game is 100 what you just said, which is that. In this game, the people that we're doing it to are the other good guys. You know, other good guys. Um, 
Whereas in that game, they're just strictly the bad guys. It's much easier to do it to a uh, a foe that you uh, that you know nothing about. And that's a really interesting question. And that's a really interesting uh, a really interesting thing that you could bring up in your video game. Fire Emblem doesn't do it basically ever, uh, which isn't necessarily bad or good, but. <laughs> it absolutely doesn't break this, especially this belief. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's a tough thing to do, especially in a game like this. Um, actually, the hack I've been playing has a kind of similar thing going on, where it's it's trying to talk about morality and like war and stuff like that. But I think the problem in is doing it in like a Fire Emblem game, because there there are no like. Are you really attacking me? There aren't really any like choices of the player or ways to not kill like every chapter is just kill all the enemies like you can't really just have a chapter or a part of the game suddenly where you don't do that and i think fire Emblem always does that i don't know but yeah they definitely never really get into like that aspect of it i mean outside of surface level stuff where they're like war is bad but it's always like war is bad but we have to do it because this other you know and it's always like a demon it's not even like a person who's it, that's why I like um three houses quite a bit because three houses is just like people on different sides of a conflict and this game is too to a certain extent but but it's always like some elder demon in the end who's just like pure the pure manifestation of evil you know and it's really hard to have a nuanced conversation about war when one side is completely in the right you know in that regard but they do dabble with it a little bit in games like this You do a near that's true that's true yeah in thracia especially you can uh you can do a pacifist run and they do have the surface level stuff right where it's like or like your your troops are never the aggressors stuff like that like war is bad but i don't know i think that's what makes a lot of the fire emblem stories like kind of fun but not necessarily that like they're not like I don't think there's really a Fire Emblem story that's that interesting, I guess, in, in that regard, if you're looking for that. They just all end up being kind of the same, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's what I think is cool about Three Houses. I feel like Three Houses uh, executed it well. Um... Or at least a lot better than a lot of the other games. And a lot of the games aren't even trying to do it, which, which is fine, you know. I don't think they necessarily have to, but, uh, but yeah. Okay, more Falcon Knights. Uh, I go for the kill. I think I'll just heal, because he has a game over condition, so I should probably try to keep him alive if I can. I think, again, the, the biggest, like, undermining thing is that you just, you constantly have to fight the enemies. And, like, because Fire Emblem as a video game, as a video game series, requires a war, some kind of battle to happen, it's really difficult to, like, to have those kind of moral questions be answered, even though it's, like, constantly war. Are you the Arvis did nothing wrong? Isn't Arvis, like, one of the generic manifestations of evil? <laughs> I, I guess he is, like, a person more so than, like, the demon. Oh, no, 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 because he's... Doesn't he embody the, like... The, the like, demon king or whatever? Yeah, I, that... that I think people are just trolling if they say that. That one doesn't make much sense to me. That's a bit odd. Oh, you're right. I'm thinking. You're right. I'm thinking of Julius, not Arvis. Uh, so Arvis did nothing wrong. Um, 
I'm trying to remember what Arvis all did. No, Arvis, Arvis like, Arvis like burns your whole army at the end of part one. Yeah, I don't know about Arvis doing nothing wrong. That one, uh, that one might be a little over my head. Um, am I going to have to have Soth? The nice thing is there's not a ton of two range here. I think the yellow units will still help me. It's a little awkward because I don't want to put Nolan here. Um, Volu can't quite transform. I think Soth being here for a turn should be okay. I should get Makai out of here. Julius is the lamest Spartan character. Well, he's just like, at least, uh, to be fair, I would say Arvis did nothing wrong because Arvis is a dick, but Arvis is at least kind of interesting. And Arvis's story throughout the second part of that game, I think is pretty cool. You know, I actually really like Genealogy, but I only really like the first half of Genealogy. I think the second half is kind of boring. But I really like the first half. The first half is really cool. It doesn't play with like exactly the like nuances we've been talking about, but it plays with kind of like different nuances that I think are interesting. Different uh, themes, I should say, that I think are interesting. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, Arvis, Arvis is like Thanos, right? Like it's that it's that idea that um, it's a. Uh, it's like Rick in The Walking Dead, you know, like how many pe how many of you do I have to kill to save you, you know? Like there there's always going to be people that argue that 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 believe that uh you have to like crack a few eggs to make an omelet, you know? It's not I don't think it's right, obviously. You can't murder people, but No, Arvis I get. Ju Julius is just you you can't like Julius. That <laughs> you're a crazy person if you like Julius, but Arvis I think at least is saying something that people that people can understand, even if it's, you know, not the right way to achieve his goals. Also, he fucking burns you at the end of part one, man. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah, these generals are doing God's work for me. Um... But yeah, I, I like uh, I like the 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 first half of genealogy story because I think I think well I don't think Sigurd is a particularly interesting character. I oh I meant to trade her onto the uh, it should be fine. I meant to trade her onto the uh, lance again, but um, but I do like the way that it kind of plays with like to me the the first half of genealogy uh, has an interesting look at like the traditional boring like fire emblem protagonist. And how, like, um, I don't know, I guess how poorly he does. Like, he really gets outsmarted and eventually defeated pretty easily by Arvis, who's not a good guy, but is playing a much more devious game and, like, nuanced game than he is. Um, which Fire Emblem, I think, rarely, usually Fire Emblem is just, like, uh, like, all about knightly honor and stuff like that, and, like, battles among armies, and I, I like that. I like, um, I like his story and I like, uh, I can't remember his name. I want to say Eldegan, but that might be wrong. Uh, but I like his story too in the, in the first part of genealogy. And then the second part is just, second part of genealogy is pretty boring, the second generation, but I like that. Is it Eldegan? I gotta look this up now. E4 Eldegan. Sorry, you can probably hear me typing. Eldegan, yes. I like Eldegan's story quite a bit. And I feel like Eldegan and Sigurd kind of have similar paths throughout the first part of uh, FE4, which I think is interesting. But. And I think Arvis is an interesting character. I think what he's trying to achieve. I don't think Fire Emblem really has another character like Arvis. Unless there's unless somebody in three houses is like that, but usually it's just bad guys for the sake of being bad. Okay, what are we at on uh, enemy kills? Nineteen. Okay, we're about halfway there. I'm starting to lose most of my yellow units here, though, which is a little bit scary. But I think we're we're looking pretty good. It's the only problem with the yellow units is they, uh, 
They get stuck. Eldegard is often compared to Arvis. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, that Eldegard has kind of a similar thing going on. But, uh... Uh, but yeah. Uh, I could probably kill that guy with Nolan. I mean, I think I'd kill this guy anyways. I'll, I'll set it up for the, uh, for the kill. And I think, like I said, I think Eldegard's cool. Just, yeah, no, I agree. I can't remember... I can't remember exactly what Eldegard's always all, all trying to do. I, like, 100% empathize with Eldegard. When I first played, uh... Three Houses. I, I think Eldegard is technically supposed to be like the bad guy of Three Houses. Um, but when I first played Three Houses, I, I was because I chose her house first, and uh, I was all on her side, man. I was I was with it. She had me. Uh, but yeah. But I think that's good. I think that's interesting. Even though I, th I think she's supposed to be like the bad guy. Um, so Volu can transform, which Volu transformed is actually pretty good. Like, fully transformed, not just half-shifted. But I think we're okay in our current position. Uh, th that guy should die, so I'll just kill this guy. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Is it, is it Edelgard, not Eldegard? Or is it the other way around? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Where's the is a protagonist? Super critical. Uh, what's what's CF exactly? To be honest, the uh, man, I, I can't really. I feel like I can't really talk about this that much because I don't remember three houses that well. I know a lot of what Eldegard is like fighting against, which is like Rhea, which has this like religious connotation to it, and I think she's also fighting against like the idea of. Um, nobility and stuff, uh, which a lot of that stuff, just personally as a human, appeals to me quite a bit. So I think that's a big part of why I I liked her. I didn't know that stuff going into it. Uh, also, again, she was the first one that I chose like to do her story. So uh, I think it's understandable that I would, you know, that I would follow her. Crimson is Crimson Flower like the DLC or is that something else? I never played the DLC. I I only ever played. Um, uh, Edelgard's or Eldegard, whichever one, <laughs> and then and then I did uh, Claude's, and then I did some of uh, uh, Dimitri's, but then I got kind of bored. Uh, but I never played Curse of Flower if that's a DLC. But I do think that uh, I do think Three Houses is a good example of how you can genuinely make some interesting uh. From stories, although you could make the argument that um, Three Houses is a game that suffers a bit in the gameplay aspect of it, and so maybe that's why they didn't go back to it. They they did something else. Because Engage's story is, I mean, Engage's story is fine, but in comparison to Three Houses, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not even trying. Uh, there's no more. Well, one of these guys should still move. I think I'm okay to just kill this guy this turn. But again, I'm, I've only I played it, you know, twice when it first came out years ago, so I'm not definitely not a, an expert on the nuances in, of that game. Uh, I guess I'll just kill this guy. Yeah. No, just catch things that are right. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is good. I think it's interesting. You sit back, but no, got awful monastery stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think engage. I think the gameplay of engage is way better to me than the um, the gameplay of three houses. Not just the monastery, but even just the actual maps. But I think the story is a huge step back. Um. But then again, story is subjective, and not ever not everybody wants you know a heavily nuanced story like. 
three houses, or the attempt at one. So. Oh, sorry, her route is Crimson Flower. Okay, my bad, my bad. No one call. You can just surf. Oh, you think it's like really bad? I think it's, to me, it's really hard to say that Engage's story is that bad because it's just so like, whatever. Granted, I never finished Engage, so maybe the, maybe toward the end things really start to fall apart, but it's just so like, I mean, there's just like nothing going on, you know? It's so generic that it's hard, to, it's hard for me to say that it's bad. I don't really want to waste Physic here. I think I'll refrain from that. I think we're okay. I mean, once once the yellow units collapse, there are gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on Meg and Nolan. But can I pick up Nolan? I can. I think you can too. But I think we're okay. Yeah, I love I loved Engage's gameplay, and that was coming from someone that even when Engage came out, like I really didn't like new Fire Emblem gameplay that much. I loved Engage's gameplay. I had a ton of fun doing it. I'm really excited to play it again uh, when I get to it. But. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I think for me, and part of the problem with Engage, and this doesn't necessarily like directly uh, reference the story, but the character models, like I know people mention them as VTubers, they kind of seem like VTubers. I really don't like a way to the, a lot of the like characters look in that game, and I also think that Engage's story lacks. It lacks a lot of like world building that I think makes it really struggle, as opposed to like Tellius, for example. So I think there's a lot of knocks to it that uh, are like even without the devoid of story. Yeah, exactly. Story, I'd say like C, D, whatever, you know, tier. Gameplay though, yeah, A plus, A plus. And I love how you could customize so many of the, of the units. If I was just gonna like, if I was gonna play one Fire Emblem game until I died, Engage might be might be up there for me as a, as a choice. Ooh, this is a little okay. Good miss. This is a little bad, but yeah, the animations are really good too. Again, I don't love the way a lot of the characters look, but the uh, the animations for all this stuff is amazing. Okay, really good that that guy decided. I don't know why he decided to attack the sniper, but really good that he did because uh, there would have been some crit. I think on Tyrannia. I want to finish this pretty fast because I think Tyrannia is going to have to encounter some crit. I might actually just have Tyrannia back up now that I think about it. Oh, I can't. Is there a crit? Oh, 1%? What is your luck? It's a lot better than I was expecting. Alright, let me just heal. That's the safest thing I can do. Um, I guess if I go here, that's actually pretty good, huh? And I can kill that guy again. Perfect. Thankfully, this chapter is not particularly difficult because... Uh, <laughs> I've been not paying attention to it very much <laughs> and talking about the Fire Emblem stories, which I think is really interesting. We don't talk about like stories and lore and stuff a lot uh, on this channel, so I, I like talking about it. I do think it's interesting. Can't quite kill. Even with Soth, I can't, right? Soth gives me like plus two attack. Yeah. Um, That's okay, though. I'm assuming the Meg can kill. <laughs> I love the okay, so the they always have these physic bishops, and they're really useful. They're really awesome, but they always move closer and closer to the enemies, and they always end up uh, dying. I wish they wouldn't move toward the enemy. I don't know why they do it. Also, I just forgot, but Meg has full support with Laura. I don't know why I'm not putting Meg next to Laura. I mean, all all it does is give me a bunch of hit, really, but I don't know why I'm not doing that. Big level up. Nice! Okay, that's exactly what we want. She's now one away from being Captain Strength. Okay, yeah, she's a beast. Her skill is still absolute dog shit for some reason, but... Alright, I'm gonna full shift here. Yeah, that gives me 28 speed, which is quite good. And then, yeah, you... Uh, oh, I should probably get Makai out of here. And then just get in Meg's range for support. We have seven left to kill. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Again, this chapter isn't uh, isn't particularly difficult.
Oh, what? Why did that guy retreat? <laughs> Where's that guy going? I do remember really hating the Fate story, but I couldn't really tell you why. Because again, it's been so long since I've uh, played that game. I shouldn't double here, so this should be pretty safe even if I get hit. It's really funny when you play defend chapters like this, because it's this is why I love Aaron so much, to be honest. But it's important to have enough speed to not get doubled, but also not have too much speed to, like, double. Or at least too much speed and strength to, like, kill. It's weird. It's a weird, like, middle ground you have to find yourself in. Those are the, the most consistent units. Not necessarily the best, but the most consistent units during this point. I do think Nolan might be in a little bit of danger. But the enemies might not want to attack him because they because he has two range. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> they can also do that, and then that, that'll make him safe, too, I suppose. Alright, how many units do we still have to kill? I might just be able to do it this turn. Six? Okay, well, there's one. We'll start there. That other soldier will definitely die in the other player phase, so... If I can just bring it down to one, it will end. Five units. One, two, three. I can probably kill five units, right? I think that's very doable. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely kill five units. So it doesn't double. Wow, that's surprising. I guess he only has, like, a little over 20 speed. Best viewers. Wow, thank you. I love these bots. Okay, so you can kill there. Alright, perfect. Then this should be very easy to make work. So... So how many is left? Four, or how many are left? Four. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should work. Okay, so you kill... Why don't you kill here? Yeah. The next chapter is also a defense chapter, kind of similar to this one, but it's it's got a lot more uh, holes in it. Um, the next chapter is a little more finicky. Yeah, Volug. Cancels attack, very useful. What level is Volug? 16, okay. He's got almost past A rank. Uh, sure, yeah, that's great. And then I think it's one more after this, and Micaiah can uh, Thanius to the next chapter. Yep, one more. I love Thanny. I love Danny too, yeah, I'm aware. I am aware. We're positioned at the top of the cliff. The Holy Guards are at the bottom, just as we planned. All right, thank you. There's no turning back now, Micaiah. You have to give the order. Yes, I know. General Mayel has fallen to the claws of the subhumans. General Ike and the Lagoose Alliance are headed this way to rescue the Apostle. We're ready to move to the next phase. Archers, get ready. There's no more time for doubt. Danny in all forms. Yeah, so this is... This is the war crime part of of this game. It's not great. This is what we were talking about. What are they doing? What are they pouring down the cliff? No, it's it's oil. They're gonna set us aflame. Apostle, onto my Pegasus. We'll take to the sky. We will protect the apostle from the archers by becoming her shield. Holy guards, form up. No, no, Sigrun, we cannot leave uh we cannot leave the others here. I will not allow it. Commander, we're ready. Well, Kieran's down there. Don't let the Apostle escape. Archer's mages, bring down that Pegasus. Don't move. I see one arrow fly, and the boy gets a quick lesson in falling. To Martin. So, no, please. All units cease fire now. Turn like has reached us. We failed. Oh, shit. He's just there. Micaiah of Dan, listen to me very, very carefully. <laughs> Tell him to let Soth go. Not a chance. 
I'm offering you a choice. Surrender now and go home to Dan, or fight us and die. We can't. We won't retreat or negotiate. Regardless of what you believe, the only choice we have is to fight. Okay, are you insane? Look around. Every single person in your army will die. Do you care that little about them? Enough. Everyone stand down. Apostle. I've seen enough bloodshed for one day. That's enough. Please, no more. She was just gonna burn you, man. Like... We'll retreat for now. You better do the same. And I mean now. Uh, I'm not sure how long I can hold my men back. But we can't. Fine. His death is on your hands, then. Sorry, little so. Your friend just killed you. Say a quick goodbye. No, so very, very poor choice of my words. Don't worry, Yoki's got him. Well, everyone left down here, I guess. I'll we'll think the goddess so the take this as a lesson, little Bjork. Next time, there won't be anyone to catch you. Damn, Tobarn, you tell him. Joe Toranio, I'll ask you one last time. Talk some sense into that girl, all right? She's losing it. We won't pursue you this time, however, we cannot avoid this war. This is, uh, that is all I will say for now. And Ike, I'm sorry for this. What's going on with you people? <laughs> what is the matter with you people? <laughs> What's the situation? It's awful. The Benyan Central Army and the Crimean Royal Knights have almost been completely obliterated. On top of that, the oil that Dane used has injured the Holy Guard's Pegasi and all but grounded them. Yeah, I think awful fits. Thoughts, everyone? Thoughts? Dan must answer for this. We will attack them immediately. We can't. If we fought Dan now, we couldn't possibly take on the Senate's armies. We have to get Dan to listen to us. Confusion is exactly what Leakin wants. Dan is merely a pawn in his scheme. But there is one thing I, I do not understand. Why use such horrible tactics? Oil and fire? What is that girl Micaiah thinking? Micaiah, the Imperial Army has Micaiah on their side? Raphael, when did you arrive? Just now, with Raisin and Queen Nyla. Grayson went uh, straight to his sister. He will be here when with Leanne at the moment. Or wait, what did she say? He'll be here with... Oh, in a moment, sorry. Is it alright for the three of you to be here? What about the medallion? The medallion is right here. I said, whoa, whoa! We're very near the point where Gelder uh, won't be enough to contain its power. If this war goes on much longer, the Dark God will surely awaken. Do, do. Please, please save him. Please save my son. Come save my Peleus, I beg of you. I found it. This is it, a way to break the blood pact. Thank the goddess. I'll be able to save my people after all. Kurth, what are you doing out so late? Looking for something? Oh, hello, Enna. No, I was just looking at the moon. The reflection on the lake is quite lovely, isn't it? Yes, quite. You! How did you get in? Uh, how did you find us? Help, he's here! Ah! My apologies for the long wait. Is the Apostle safe? She fled to Crimea, then exposed the Senate's plots to the world. Currently, she leads the Apostle's army through Dan and is preparing to storm the Empire. I see, very well. It's time for us to make our move. Oh, shit! As you wish, my master. God damn. The price. Sonaki can do to allay her remaining troops' burning desire for revenge. She knows that there is no hope of victory if her weakened forces are divided. However, she cannot move forward while danger follows at her back. This dilemma weighs heavily on the Apostle's troops, crushing their morale. Meanwhile, the Dayan forces pull back to the fastness of Knox Castle. Micaiah, unable to explain her mission to her soldiers, keeps Dayan's army together through sheer force of will. Blood Contract. Her ability to the Empire? Is that true? 
Yes, the Empire has been thrown into chaos since General Zelgius freed Prime Minister Seferan. They've incited the peasants by asking, who should, uh, who should you believe in, the Senate or the Apostle? And the people have chosen the Apostle, correct? Yes, they're rioting in the capital day and night, demanding answers. The Senate is busy trying to quell the masses. This is great news. If we were to forge an alliance between Dayan and the Apostle supporters in Benyan, that is not a wise choice. The curse of the Blood Pact will begin killing our people as, as soon as we do anything the Senate doesn't care for. Defeating the Senate doesn't guarantee the curse will be broken either. In fact, it may ensure it can never be broken. In which case, Dayan's destruction will come more slowly, but it will come nevertheless. So we can't detect the Senate, and we can't ask for help. The only thing we uh, we can do is search for a way to get rid of the curse. This is driving me crazy. If we could only contact the Apostle, but if the Senate heard a word of it, they destroy us. Our hands are tied. Luckily for us, uh, that's not true. I have some good news for a change. I found a way to break the Blood Pact. Where's Micaiah? Please bring her here. You discovered how to break the Blood Pact? I'll get it right away. Uh oh. You can't be serious, Your Majesty. But I am. Don't you see? This is the way to save Dayan. The information was in a book. Was in a book hidden in a secret room. I think it's reliable. <laughs> I think it's reliable. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's funny. Uh, I must ask you to reconsider, my king. There has to be another way. There must be. We can't afford to wait uh, for another solution to present itself. We have to try. I cannot go through this with this. Micaiah, the life of every single person in Dayan depends on this. If it works, we can stop fighting this absurd war. It'll be alright. I know it'll work. Please do this for me, Micaiah. Can't. I thought I'd made up my mind. I thought I'd do anything for Dan. But then I saw So taken away from me. And I saw him fall. I was powerless to do anything. I'd taken so many lives as a general, and yet, when I saw So dead, even if uh, it hadn't been So in front of you, you would have reacted the same way. That's the kind of person you are. I don't know. She was ready to burn some dudes. Individual lives taken before your eyes weigh more heavily than uh, the many lives taken during the chaos of war. If that life is something uh, is someone dear, the burden is even worse. It's only human, isn't that true? Makaya, it's your caring soul that I admire. That's why I want, to, I want it to be you. I want you to kill me. Shit. No, I can't. I can't do it. Please don't make me do this, please. The blood pact breaks when the pact uh, maker is killed by a third party. That is exactly how it's written. This is the only way to save Dan. Please, please don't make me, uh, don't ask me to do something so horrible. This is the duty as king. This is my duty as king, Micaiah. If you won't do it, I must ask someone else. So I think, I think, not that it matters here, I don't think this changes anything, but I, I think in order to, like, recruit Peleus, if we could, you have to choose one or the other, but. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for you and for Dan. Thank you, Micaiah. Kaga's original team. That's true. That is actually very true. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter when it's, but it's when it's someone you know, when it's someone you care about, then it matters. It's only human. General Taranio, please look after the people of Dayan. Yes, your majesty. So I'm sorry for all that I put you and Makaya through, including this. Please forgive me. Don't worry about that now, Peleus. In fact, I think Makaya has to be the one to like die, quote unquote, to recruit Peleus, but I, I don't remember. I haven't done it in so long. Okay, please give this ring to my mother. Tell her that I loved her dearly. I will, your majesty. Goodbye, my friends. So, for those that don't know, Peleus is a recruitable unit. Um, but you have to basically be playing the game for the second time, so... Your majesty, what have I done? If you're in the clear, there's a third option. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what it is. I think, isn't the third option, like, to have Micaiah be the one to, like, die or something? I, I can't quite remember. Place, is he here? No! No! Peleus, my dear Peleus. Who did this? Who killed my son? Was it you? I know it was you. You killed my Peleus. It was the king's wish. He sacrificed himself to make Dayan free. He asked Micaiah to end his life. It was an honorable end for a king. Thanks to his noble sacrifice, Dayan has been saved. Fools, is this what you think? Dayan has not been saved. What do you mean, my queen? Take a good look. The mark is still on his wrist. His son's, uh, my son's death was in vain. Ooh. No, it can't be. So, tell me that that isn't true. Murderer, give me back my son. You took my only son, give him back. 
The the day and aspect of this game definitely goes to a pretty dark place. Okay, so this is the second to last chapter of part three and the last Dawn Brigade chapter, um, at least where we like only get to use the Dawn Brigade. Say, Edward, we've been fighting really hard for quite a while now, haven't we? Yeah, I guess so. The War of Emancipation, the war against the Laguz Alliance, and now against the Apostles' Army. One after the other, just like that. The world can't always be like this. These words seem so pointless. All I want is to be able to live in day and peacefully uh, and in freedom. Yeah, the military is a pretty strange place. Hey, I have an idea. Once this battle is over, I'll quit the army and go home. What about Makai and the others? Are you just going to abandon them? What? No way. I'll just have to talk them uh, into leaving with me. And if that catches on, all the soldiers will leave. And then there can't be a war. And then Dane will live peaceful, uh, live in peace again. I mean, that seems good. You know, I don't think it's that simple. But your plan uh, sounds good to me, Edward. See, you know, it's smart. First, you and I will leave. Together, we can tackle any obstacle. We'll have to survive the next battle first. This should help. Here. Uh, look what I got. Ooh, this sword is amazing. Uh, where did you get this? I've been saving up. Makaya chipped in too. You got this for me? Yeah. Since you're always uh, fighting so recklessly, I thought this sword would be a good match for you. Thanks, Leonardo. You're the best friend I could have. I know. We're each other's best friend and family. Is it the... Oh, it's not the brave sword. It's a tempest blade. I think I already have a brave sword. Did I get any experience from the last chapter? Let's give Mega a level. This chapter, like I said, is... Still a defend chapter, so it's hard to be that difficult, but it's definitely more difficult than the last one. Or a little more tricky, I should say. Okay, yeah, she's starting to get really strong. And then, can I get Nolan a level? Okay, perfect. He should be guaranteed, like, strength defense here, I think. Or neither of those things. <laughs> he needs to cap some more stats. Okay. Uh, what can we get from the bargain? Notice experience, Eddie. I think I think the Eddie ship is uh, is sailed, unfortunately. Oh, I can buy physic. Okay, can Makaya use physic? She can. Okay, that's great. Makaya is in an interesting position on this chapter because she's like, she can only move in a certain little radius. So, I did want to use Edward. I think the the next time I play Radiant Dawn, I'll definitely use Edward. But, um. Again, it's tough to do when you're trying to, like, train Meg as much as I did. Um, so yeah, Physic, and then, why don't you take, well, you can only Physic, so. Um. Is there anything else I want to do? Beast Foe is actually pretty useful here. Um, so I think we'll give Beast Foe back to Nolan. Uh, I mean, hypothetically, I could give it to Meg. The thing is, this is just a flat-out defend chapter. Like, it's not a it's not a defeat a certain amount of enemies chapter, so doing it quickly doesn't necessarily matter. Meg is nice because she can take hits way better than Nolan with only 17 defense, but... She's not going to be able to double. Uh... <laughs> the Repossible Indulgence is a fine unit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> It's just her speed cap. If her speed cap was higher, she'd be uh, she'd be a lot better. But yeah, even with all the effort possible, she is mediocre at best. Well, if I'm gonna do this with Nolan, he needs a crossbow. That's for sure. I don't think I want anything else here. I don't think this stuff looks too good to me. I mean, hypothetically, the elixir could be good, but not big Rolf. Yeah, Rolf unfortunately died. I tried to use uh, Ileana to save Rolf, and then they just both ended up dying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get you a silver knife. Maybe that's useful here. Two range is really useful here because you're attacking down quite a bit. Uh, not for the weaker units, of course. There are some units that just can't do anything. But... You have a wind edge. Um, there's no like, yeah. Okay, I think we're good.
Rolf is the best. Rolf is certainly a character. Uh, welcome back. What's going on with Dayan? They're holed up in this big castle to the east. I'd say 10,000 soldiers, give or take. They're looking pretty desperate. To the east, eh? It's like it's just like Soren said. Nox is the next battle uh, battlefield. Ten thousand? They really aren't. Uh, they aren't really going to try and fight us with only ten thousand, are they? It'd be suicide. They should know about the rebellion in the empire by now. We should speak with them. They have nothing to gain by siding with the Senate. Why continue the fighting? We cannot afford to lose any more troops or time here either. We should be at the Senate's doorstep by now. Agreed. Sephiroth has earned some time for us. Uh, we can't afford to lose that advantage. We must press on. Let us win this battle quickly and continue on our way. I believe in Rolf even when times are tough. <laughs> Rolf unfortunately died in our uh, Path of Radius playthrough too. But at least he was promoted in, in that playthrough. He did some good work. <laughs> even when times are tough. General like, please allow us to join you on the battlefield. Shouldn't you be watching over the medallion with your brother and sister? Is it really a good idea for you to be away? They can manage uh, without me for a while. I'm here because I, I must see Micaiah. I want to save her. I can reason with her. I know it. If we, could talk her, if we could talk to her face to face, maybe she'll understand. It's also for our own peace of mind. Alright, come with us. Uh, I'll tell my men to avoid firing at Micaiah. Sound good? Thank you, Ike. What a homie. Micaiah also gets purged here. Although I don't know if our Micaiah will be able to use it. The gate has been breached. The Apostle's army is storming the castle. Hey, here they come. It all ends here. Oh shit. Let's finish this quickly. All units attack. Uh, we will not lose. We cannot lose. If we lose today, everything Peleus has done will be in vain. In the name of King Peleus, fight for Dan. Okay. So, this chapter uh, features a bunch of units. Well, I think it's just Ike. It's just Ike and Soren to begin with, but eventually some of our other units will show up. Oh, he has the... Did I forget to equip the Slim Sword? I think I did. So, you can defeat the boss, as it says, to, to finish this chapter, but... For our purposes, that's going to be very difficult to do. Now, the nice thing about this chapter is there are a lot of choke points that we could abuse. Um, specifically, these two, this, and then this. And then you can have people basically here and here. And you can choke uh, You can choke most of this chapter pretty easily. Um, and then also, it's sort of important to go over here. So I think I'll have somebody do that. But maybe like you two. And this is the 313 Archer that people like to talk about. Uh, cause he likes to do some weird things, let's just say that. Uh, but yeah, we'll deal with that later. I think this is pretty much the setup I want. Yeah, let's do it. Maiden, please take this. You are the commander, uh, the commander general of the Dane army. It is imperative that you lead our troops from this spot. However, with this tome, you can aid your allies from afar. Thank you. Purge. Which, I don't know if she can use... Oh, she can use. Okay. Oh, you only have to be B. That's not so bad. Okay, so Nolan go here. And then I think you probably go there. And then Tarania will hang around here too. And then I'll have... You guys hang out there. Uh, I guess the heart can do that. If you want to go down here. The great thing about this chapter, and this is why it's not too bad, is because... You fight only Lagoos until the very end where some of the mercenaries will show up. But Lagoos don't have two range, which is really important because it means that even your weakest unit, like Leonardo, um, choking this, the Lagoos won't be able to get up there. Now there are some Hawks. The Hawks are problematic. The Hawks are a bit of a, a bit of an issue uh, that we'll have to deal with, but other than the Hawks, there's no way you can get attacked, which is good. And then yeah, Makai has to stay in this little border, and you do have to hold this line as well, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then... Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I want to do. And then obviously you also have a lot of uh, yellow units that are going to help you out, so they'll be very useful for us.
do do you this, this uh, chapter also has a pretty cool music which I like I like a lot of the battle music in this game it's all pretty fantastic now if you have a stronger team of course you can uh, you can take like more aggressive chokes um, but the nice thing about taking slightly farther back chokes as well is once the mercenaries do show up uh, even though you do have time to react you have a little bit more uh, a little bit more onus or a little bit more um I guess a little bit more time to react is a good way to put it. Okay. So this is the power of Beast Foe. Let's annihilate this guy. <laughs> we get to do that a little bit more. Um So how does Meg look fighting these guys? She does double the tigers, not the cats. The cats have 29 attack. So the cats only deal four damage. The tigers deal 14, which isn't too bad. It's a decent amount. I'd love to kill this guy. I think I'll just kill this guy to help out the... Uh... Again, killing the hawks, if you have the ability, is really, really useful because um, they will fly around and do some annoying shit. Burbs for looks so cool. And then yeah, you have to make sure you're you're holding these lines. So Tyrannia should do a good job here. I feel really bad for the uh for the Lagoos that decide to push the middle here because until the very end, there's basically no way they can do anything and they just end up dying. Um Leonardo should back up because that hawk can potentially get to him. And then I think I'll just have. How much can he do to Volu? 24 minus 10? I mean, not that much. I think it's okay. Then Zark stay there. And then I think we'll have... This is a problem you can run into because... Eventually, enemies will show up from over here. Which isn't that big of a deal because you're choking here and here. But they'll also show up from over here. Which is bad because these units do not choke this uh, particularly well. So you choking it is actually pretty useful. Laura can go down here. I don't think I want to do anything with Makaya. I mean, hypothetically, I could kill this guy, but again, these Lugus will never really accomplish anything. Um, and this guy will get healed. I think enough people will get healed. And maybe it's good experience for Makaya too. Maybe I'll physic this guy. I don't really know how desperate you are for physics later on in the game, so I don't know if I should conserve these, but I'm sure it's fine. God damn. Okay, it's a beast. Okay, hopefully this hawk will just die. Okay, that's good. These poor knights, where are they even going? <laughs> Feels bad. Yeah, th these guys will die. I mean, th these are unpromoted archers that they have manning these things. These guys will die real fast. They put more of the promoted units as you get farther back. Okay, you do want to keep this guy alive. Um... But he, he usually survives okay. Well, I shouldn't say that. You either want to keep him alive or have him die very quickly so that you can fill in the gap. The problem is if he's, like, lingering is you can get into awkward spots where, like, if he does die, um, then the Lagoos can, like, flood through. But he's usually pretty good at surviving as long as you're healing him every turn. The nice thing is um, there's always Lagoos for him to, like, fire the Javelin down at, which means he won't attack... 
Like, you want to attack that cat at one range, for example, and take unnecessary damage, which is nice. He'll attack this one. Unless he's feeling especially stupid today, but hopefully he isn't. But yeah, like you can see, if this guy died, Laura would be in a really bad spot. We'll help him out here a little bit. Um, okay, at this point, I think Meg should just back up. She should still be good to hold that. Having Meg here is actually pretty nice. Sometimes you can get into... Depending on who you train. Like, Tyranium does okay here. Nolan always does okay. Like I said, I like Eren, but Eren never does, like, that well. So depending on who you train, you can... This chapter can actually be a little awkward for... Specifically the person that holds uh, that area, but... Meg with her 22 defense, I think, will do a pretty good job. And not getting doubled. It's always nice. Okay, and then we'll hold this, and then we should be good. I don't think there's really anything else. Um, where's a hawk? There's one hawk here. That's it right now? Okay. Um, I mean, I guess you can maybe help out over there. I don't think I want to purge anything. The only pr people I think I really want to purge are, like, hawks that can potentially be annoying. All the just generic Lagoos, again, they, they can't really push where, you know, our units are, so it's not that big a deal. This guy is so dead. Although he did kind of put himself in the corner, so maybe he's okay at least for the turn. Oh, this guy's also unbelievably dead. <laughs> they really should have healed that guy. <laughs> okay. Slightly unnecessary crit, but you know. Oh, he's not quite dead. Good, good crit, I guess. Okay, now this is gonna hurt. Yeah, that, that deals a lot. Thankfully, you don't have to, like, rescue drop Laura or anything, because, again, there's no range on the Lagoos, so they won't do anything like that, which is nice. Okay, that Hawk's in an interesting spot. Again, we gotta be careful with Laura here. Okay, yep, there come the reinforcements. But again, over there is not that big a deal because we're we're choking everything. So these these guys really aren't that scary. Okay. Cause you can't sit here. So I think as long as I just have like Volu go here, Laura can still sit where she is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He does have 9 movement, though. Okay, maybe that's not the best. Um, if I shove... Yeah, it doesn't work either. Uh, okay, maybe Laura does need, just, just need to back up. I mean, I could just use Physic. It's not that big a deal. I just was kind of trying to avoid it if I could. Good level up, my goodness. Alright, help out this guy a little bit. Should have seen if uh, Tyranio and Nolan maybe could have supported it or something. That would have been good. If Nolan could support with Meg, that would be amazing. But I don't think that's the case. Um, do I want to heal Meg? It's probably safe if I do it. Nice. Adept and a critical, okay. Yeah, why not? I believe Micaiah does... Oh no, I don't think she promotes... I think Micaiah pr doesn't promote until part 4, but that's okay. Getting her experience is nice. 
Not that, like, Makai can never really be strong enough to contribute that much in part four, so it doesn't matter too much to, like, make her a high level, but why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I fucked it up anyways. Um, shoot. That is bad. Oh, man, I really don't want to abandon this. Um, shoot, I should have backed up with her more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And she definitely dies. Our speed is one away from not getting doubled. Alright, this is a little sketchy. Because I'm going to end up letting uh, Laguz through here, but... I don't know, it kind of is what it is. Should have backed up more with Laura. Damn. Oh, I already moved her. Um, okay. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, I can I can seal it up next turn, hopefully. That's the plan. This guy's hiding behind <laughs> This guy's hiding behind Meg. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, hypothetically, if Meg crits here, she could die. Okay, good. Dude, these tigers hit so hard. Oh, that guy... Wow, he's actually... Okay. Well, this is good. Prioritizing attacking me as opposed to going up there. This guy will attack Soth, which sucks. Soth is a game over condition, by the way. Oh, can the hawk get to Soth? Wait, I might have lost this, actually. That's good. Because the hawk probably can get to Soth, right? Ooh. Might be a little sketchy. Nice. Yeah, he definitely can. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I don't know if he could have gotten to Soth or not. Actually, if the tiger had moved first... And then the cat moved. I think Soth could have died, but we got lucky. <laughs> Volo just kicked that bird in the stomach, by the way. <laughs> I just want everyone to be aware of that. There's no way they could get, like, all the way to Soth. Okay. Another hawk. I wonder if that hawk could have gotten to Soth. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think so. Unless you lose some movements when you go up like wall tiles like this. I don't know. 24. Oh, he couldn't have killed. Ah, uh, he wasn't strong enough to kill. Okay. That might have been why he didn't do it. Um, See, this is awkward because I'm pretty sure that the, the enemies or the, the ally units like the ballistas will kill this guy. But there's no guarantee and it's a little sketchy if they don't. Okay, let's Physic, uh, Meg. Meg's actually, <laughs> Meg's actually cleared out this whole left side pretty, <laughs> pretty effectively. I'm a little surprised, to be honest. Um. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, let's kill this guy. Okay, so next turn, only two tigers can attack her, so even if she does get a, a lucky slash unlucky crit, she'll still be okay, which is good. Yeah, we're very lucky that that hawk couldn't kill, uh, so they're really surprised that it couldn't, to be honest. More defense. Also, magic actually isn't terrible for her, because she has the imbue skill. Well, she's kept strength, speed, luck, and res. I just need skill and defense, and I think her HP is capped as well. 70 damage. Nolan is not getting great level ups anymore, but that's fine. 
Um, yeah, so what if he doesn't? Can he do anything scary? Uh, he probably can't kill me, right? No, he can't kill Jill, just barely. Uh, I'll have to shift Volug or something, or just get Volug out. Oh, I guess if I just Volug, Volug should be fine. I guess I'll Physic this guy. I just want to make sure he gets physic Because, again, he really needs to stay where he is. And then Volug just hanging around here. You can Vulnery. He'll probably just attack Volug again, to be honest, which is fine. Okay, I think that's all I want to do. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I can't get to Micaiah. Okay, should be good. Nice. That's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe Mega's cleared out like everything on that side. That's so funny. That's actually kind of good where he's positioned right now. Okay. Please shoot the, the hawk. Okay, please kill the hawk. Okay, that's a little bad. I don't think it's going to put anyone in danger necessarily, but it, I really wish that hawk would die. That hawk is the bane of my existence currently. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is fine. Unfortunately, oh, we won't even kill that guy. Okay, then this is totally fine, yeah. I am going to have to figure out a way to kill that hawk, because the AI is not doing a particularly good job, but as long as we can figure out how to kill him, we should be all right. Nice. Off in view. Um... 24 hit? I guess his, uh... Damn. His barrel was all the way up. I can full shift, but I can't get there. I can actually... Hold on. 52. I can actually get support if I do this. Okay, 86 is pretty good. This guy needs to die, because I think... I don't, like, if he passes this line, I think I might just lose. I'm not really sure how that works. What's my best hit? This one? Okay, I'll take an 80%. That's not bad. Usually you don't have this much trouble killing a hawk, but <laughs> it's okay. Nice. And now... Volu can go over here and wall that off. And then, yeah, I guess I'll finish this guy. So why not? Kill this guy, because again, why not? It's just experience. So which turn is it? Six? Okay. It's not going too poorly, but this is always, uh, this is, uh, as you progress through the chapter, it can get a, l a little more difficult as you, uh, as you go. Uh, I think I'll save my physic. I think this guy will get physic by somebody, and then Jill's good. Yeah, I think we're good. He's come a long way to dying to one tiger. Yes, a very long way, I would agree. I would very much agree. What? You were gonna get healed? Why did you have to back up? You're gonna get healed anyways. Should be fine. That guy getting healed's fine too. You know, I gotta say, I I certainly wouldn't recommend training Meg because it does it is a lot of effort. Oh, please don't kill. Okay, good. Because it's a lot of effort, and I'm not really sure that's worth the results. But our Meg is right now quite strong at the very least. Okay. I didn't check this one. The last one also did this where it put her to two health, but I didn't check this one. So I was a little worried this one was a little stronger, but no, we're good. And the hawk coming up here to greet me is actually great because I can kill him pretty easily next turn.
You know, if Meg, if Meg just showed up as a level one general in part one, she would actually be a really good unit. Do you guys ever think about that? <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think I want to go up because then I'll be in range of at least one more tiger, which I don't love. Everything that like actually kills. Could spam some brave sword here. Yeah, I don't hate it. I wouldn't mind killing some of these guys. Um, yeah, let's just make sure we have a way to kill. Oh, this is kind of awkward, huh? Okay, that's good. I don't know if I needed to use purge there, but... Okay, just come over and heal. And then, so you can kill this guy. Oh, I double. Okay, sweet. I guess if I miss both, this is kind of bad. Okay. I think the AI still would have killed the, the Hawk, but... Definitely nice that I didn't miss both. <laughs> um, yeah. As much as I don't want to waste Physic here, I this guy really does need... Can I get over there? What if I, like, shove... Still one short. Yeah, it's fine. This guy does really need to survive here, so I'll, I'll just heal him. Um, and yeah, just do your thing. I mean, that guy's just untransformed, so who cares? Meg has come a long way indeed. Um, I think that's all I want to do. We should be good. This guy should just die. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> this guy is... I don't know how this guy is still alive. He's been doing some dumb shit, but he is. <laughs> I don't think that's where you want to be, Mr. Cat, but whatever. I don't know if it's worth it to, like, waste Brave Sword hits here, but whatever. The more I kill, the easier chance I'll have at actually, like, killing the Hawk, uh, which, again, is the most important thing, so... I've never really had a unit on this chapter that, like, handles the Laguz as well as Meg does, to be honest. Because usually when I get to this chapter... I guess I've only ever gotten this chapter once on an Iron Man, but it was just like, I just had Aaron and Nolan. And like, Nolan could obliterate them with a Wild Heart, of course, but, or no, with Beast Foe. But Aaron really can't do shit on this chapter other than just like, sit there and take it. So having this kind of combat is kind of interesting. Weird to say that about Meg, but it's true. It takes her forever to walk up. Look at this. This cat is bigger than her, it looks like. Okay, where does the hawk end up? Ah. Okay, that's awkward. Where is that dude going? <laughs> okay, there's those units. A little bit. Yeah, I wish I could kill the hawk, but honestly, the hawk is so far away from everyone, I don't think it matters too much. Let's kill this guy. Dude, Meg is just doing it all. I think I get a level here too, yeah, which is great. Nice. I could just promote her to be honest, but the guaranteed defense is, is pretty nice. I really wish she'd get skill. I don't know why she's... How... Okay, I gotta check this. Is her skill growth just atrocious or... What's going on with that? 
No, her skill growth, her skill growth is 50%. Or, or uh, 40%. Okay, level 15 sword general. She's supposed to have... Actually, she's only supposed to have 20 skill. Yeah, it's not that crazy. Wait. Okay, I think I gave her one energy drop, but even with one energy drop, she's still pretty strength blessed. Now, people being blessed and screwed in this game is a little bit funkier than most games, obviously, because of... I've given Meg a lot of bonus experience, and bonus experience, like, guarantees certain stats and stuff, so... It is a little... There are reasons that her stats are, like, better than they should be, but... You go here. I guess we'll just transform Volug. I think Volug will pretty much be transformed for the rest of this chapter, so it's just kind of free. Okay. I'll take HP and defense. I'd like you to get some more, like, health and stuff, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's get you over here. And then we should be good here, and then I could Physic, or I could kill someone. I think I'm going to Physic Sothe, just in case. He's missing a decent amount of health. Okay, should be good. I think there's like a weird chance that Jill could die, but I don't think she will. Yeah, no, we're good. If that Sage had moved, maybe that Hawk can get to Jill, I don't know, but... I should get Jill to full health so she can actually take the, the hawk hits. Oh, here's the... Yeah, so this is... <laughs> so this is the 313 archer doing just some weird shit. He loves to do this. He loves to jump down with those guys. The first time I ever played this chapter on, on an Iron Man, he, like, crit the, the cat immediately and almost killed him. Chapter sucks when you don't just fight Ike. Yeah. At least, it's not particularly difficult, but it is a lot more boring, yeah, if you don't just immediately kill Ike. Oh, I didn't realize you could attack Tarania. That should be fine. Did you see Archer doing work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Blue Island? Yeah, no, this chapter's a lot. It takes a lot longer. Nice! Let's go, Tarania. What a beast. Unfortunately, uh, 313 Archer is uh, deceased. <laughs> It didn't last very long. Uh, I mean, this is fine. I only have 32 hit. Because <laughs> the Hark's dog shit, but... I shouldn't get doubled or anything, so... Should be alright, yeah. I should find a way to kill that guy. Yeah. Went down as a hero, as usual, yeah. He did, though. He really did. Okay. Can you do anything? What? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Leonardo can one-shot this guy. What the fuck? This is like basically base Leonardo. Look at this. Yo, that's insane. This is like, what is this? Level 7 Leonardo? Holy shit. That's nuts. How much might does this thing have? 16? Okay. I mean, that's standard. I mean, it makes sense because this thing has 16 might. I just, I don't know. I'd, I didn't expect to see Leonardo with that kind of stat line, I guess. Um, do I want... Nolan can kill this guy. Belug. Or I could just do this. This is probably fine. I got to heal him anyways. I don't know, that that just that took me back. That uh that surprised me. Oh I have Luna, that's right. I think Tarnio probably kills. Oh he just one shot oh, fuck, okay. When I said kills, I didn't think one shot, but we'll take it. Nice. She was a four drinks spirit. Oh, because enemy generals. That's true. I guess I'm just still in the mindset of um uh, Path of Radiance effective damage, where it's so dog shit that something like that could never happen, but... I guess his hit being as good as it was to surprise me, 70%. Especially considering Zahark just had 30% when he was looking at the, at the attack. Why? Wait, I have Olive Eye Grass? Okay. I should have really given that Olive Eye Grass to, uh... Volug. I didn't think I had any.
Yeah, Shida with that Wing Spear is absolutely insane, though. As we will find out when we uh, move on to Shadow Dragon. Oh, you don't even have two range. Uh, do you have Vulnery? Okay, give me that. Here, you could have the Alibi Grass. And Animage, oh, is that where he got it? Um, yeah, Meg has actually cleared out her entire side. All right, well, come back, I guess. Actually, just, just hang out there for a second. This is turn nine. Okay, so we're getting very close to the point where we have to back up. Uh, yeah, just save Purge. I don't need to use it. Should be good. <laughs> I can't believe Meg cleared out her entire side. That's amazing. What a beast. Yeah, I really should have given, uh, I really should have given Volug the, back up, put it reverse, put it reverse tear. Uh, but yeah, I really should have given Volug the, uh, all of my grass. Dude, how many Lugus just out-transformed? <laughs> put it in reverse. I think next turn might be when we have to start backing up. Maybe not. The, the mercenaries only get so far. Okay, there's Renolf. Arky, you safe? Wait, what was it? Uh, that was a dumb question, wasn't it? I don't think any of us are safe at the moment. Are you guys finished with the preparations? Yeah, the rest of the force is on the way. We should arrive any minute. All right, once we merge, we'll launch the attack. Rafael, you're all right. Are you ready? Let's go look for Makaya. Do not leave my side. These Bjork look edgy. Yes, Queen Nyla. Uh, I'll be closer than uh, than your uh, than your own shadow. I thought she said lost shadow. Okay, not quite yet. Uh, we don't have to back up quite yet. Wow, the amount of the amount of Lagoos that I've like cleared out is crazy. I, I never clear out this amount of Lagoos when I play this chapter, but that's the as uh, as Seafair said. That's the power of the Pink Knight. Have my Nolan fight Ike. Well, Maya has, still has the stupid Ragnall equipped, so I don't know. I can't do that. All right, you just hang out back here, just in case he dies, and then you go here, and then we're still we're still looking good. I guess there's really not much I have to do. Uh, yeah, I guess we're good. Ah, uh, this guy just wants to die. He's just done with life, apparently. He didn't get one shot. I wonder who, I suppose if, if you kept Paragon on the mercenaries, and then if you like had Jill as like a tier three unit, I think you could probably kill Ike like pretty consistently. Again, it's just, it's so easy to defend on this chapter that in an Iron Man, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I think you do with Jill or like maybe like if Edward is just like so unbelievably strong or has like a lot of avoid or something. But you would definitely need a tier three unit, I think, to do it. Or Nolan, I guess, if he's strong enough. Maybe Nolan with the Tarvos. Uh oh. Okay, two more turns. Yeah, so now Oscar and Boyd are gonna start moving. Boyd, ooh, keeping celerity on Boyd may not have been my best idea now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I should probably start backing up. Although we're still good for a turn. But we do need to start backing up. Um, do I wanna sit here? Do I wanna back up this turn? It's just one more turn. I think we're probably good. I think we're probably good to still sit here for another turn. I hope. Because they shouldn't be able to get... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, on his, uh, on his like, LTC or whatever he's doing? Or his 0% growth? Yeah, I'd, I'd be curious. Yeah, I don't know how you do it on an LTC. Because I would say that even on 0% growth, defending this chapter isn't that difficult, but... Obviously, he likes to do it, like, very quickly, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I'd be curious to see how he does it. I don't know what... Oh, he's been doing, a, like, a 0% growth uh, LTC of uh, uh, Radiant Dawn that he's been posting. Cool. 
was like zero percent gross. That I, I mean, I'm sure there's a way. I'm, sh I'm sure that man has a way. But yeah, I don't know. It'd be tough because you really don't have any strong units. I mean, your strongest like base unit is like you have Zahark. I guess both Zahark and Tyranio could be tier three. Yeah, Ike will have his bases, but Ike is really strong. I suppose it's a Hark or Tyranio, or like Jill tier 3. Maybe Jill tier 3 is like strong enough to like Brave Axe him or I, I don't know. I have no idea. Everyone is just running around like... <laughs> it, everyone looks so confused. I like that Renolf shot. <laughs> I like that Nyla has like an entourage of Lagoos that are following her. I don't know if I actually can't transform. Okay, at this point, we need to get the hell out of here because nobody wants to fight Boyd. I know we're fighting uphill, but still, this is just not a fight we want to take. Uh, yeah, let's just back up. The Tarvos. And then just in case somebody can get up here, I'll have her sit here, but I don't think that'll matter. And then I think we should be good. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, and this is the last turn. Okay. <laughs> like turn two. Yeah, you'd have to kill him really fast. I, that's got to be so tough, though. I don't know what it looks like on easy mode. Like, maybe the Lagoos are just really weak, but I don't I don't think they are. I think the Lagoos are still pretty strong on, on easy. That guy is unbelievably dead. It was safe to run. Always Blue Island, always. Chapter actually went pretty smooth. The last time I did this, I didn't choke the left, uh, the left point because I didn't know those enemies were gonna come. So I ended up in a bad spot there. And I also didn't clear out the Lagoos as much as this time, but this time it went a bit smoother, so that's nice. I don't know what these idiots are doing. <laughs> They're all just running around. Hello. Minute of Dawn, the enemy's approaching. Please, you must withdraw, withdraw inside the castle. Our defenses have been broken. We did everything we could. It's only a matter of time now. Dane soldiers, pull back immediately. Take up positions inside the castle. We won't let them take us without a fight. Without a fight. The inner gate has been breached. It's only a matter of time before they break through the inner walls. That was fast. We didn't even get a chance to rest. Isn't there anything else we can do? King Pelias has worked so hard to find the answer. Was it for nothing? There must be something. A rumor. Old folklore. Anything. Hold on. Didn't Lady uh, Elmida... Seem to know something about the blood pact? Come to think of it, she recognized the mark uh, of the pack on Pelias' arm right away. Like she'd seen one before. You're right. Why didn't I realize it sooner? Where is she? Where is Lady uh, Elmida? General, it's no use. We can't hold them off any longer. Enemy troops have broken through and are headed this way. Escape while we can. Or while you can. No, we must find Lady Elmida. Everything depends on it. Break down the gate. If they won't come out, we'll let ourselves. We'll just let ourselves in. All forces advance. Like we have a problem, a big problem. All this battlefield chaos is starting to affect, to really affect the Lagoos. They're on the verge of losing control. I can't stop the mic. If they find Micaiah, they're going to tear her apart. I guarantee it. Blast. We need to get them under control. Where's Skrimir? Sheesh, what a relief to finally have the end of this thing in sight. I can't believe what a fight the day and army put up, especially considering their numbers. Wait a minute. Hey, Yoki, what the heck is that on the horizon? It's flying toward us. The flapping sounds heavier than a wyvern. It's huge. Oh, this is the uh, this is a cutscene. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! All units, get down now. I forgot about this cutscene. Boom! Oh shit. If only Kurth was that strong when we got to recruit him. This music is so dope. All of you are ordered to throw down your weapons and cease fighting. Do this uh, for your own welfare. 
Anna, Alencia, what's going on here? It's a it's a, a black dragon of Goldoa. Tabarn, what's going on? Why are you asking me? All I know is uh, that I'm not really uh, I'm wait I'm not ready to step up to a black dragon. Did you see that blast? Point taken. All units retreat. Platoon commanders, gather your men. I don't know. I've seen Kurth stats. I wouldn't worry about it too much. What just happened? Why did the Apostles' army leave? And what was that horrible sound? Micaiah. Hey, it's Kurth. Kurth, uh, where have you been? I haven't seen you since you left our uh, since you left for home. How did you get here? Uh, why would you come to this hor to a horrible place like this? I wanted to save you and my sister as well. Your sister? She's here. Never mind that now. I'm just glad you're safe. Are you hurt? No, I don't think so. I'm just very confused right now. Have you actually seen his stats? Oh, I've seen him. I've seen him. The subhumans are here. Protect the maiden with your lives. Stop, stand down, all of you. Ooh. Oh, she she just went through that one. Quinella, Raphael. I right, thank you. Thank you so much. It's alright, Micaiah. It'll be alright. Come on, shoot your Edward can take down Kurth. Oh, 100 percent Base Kurth? 100 percent Cured of that woo wolf. That black dragon is Prince uh, Kurth Naga. Sheesh! I thought the that lions got big. Uh, it's the sun, is it? I thought maybe the dragon king had shrunk a bit in his old age. Tim and Eric. Oh, I I never seen Tim and Eric. I have seen uh, I have seen um, Tim's other show uh, on cinema at the cinema, which I think is really funny. But I I never seen the uh, Tim and Eric. I've heard it's good, but... You all know the Dragon Prince of Goldoa. Yeah, Goldoa hosted a meeting of Lagoo's royalty three years ago. That's when Tabarn and I met him. Valencia and I met him around the same time. I'd say he was a nice kid, uh, except that he's older than uh, all of us put together. The Prince hopes to avoid the complete destruction of Dayan and his people. He wishes to stop the fighting. He would like to ask uh, you to implement a ceasefire and hold a peace talk. We've attempted to hold peace talks with Dayan on multiple occasions. They refuse to listen to reason and instead choose to fight. We have no more time to waste on people who choose war over peace at every turn. Your people are waiting for uh, for you and Benyan. Is that what presses you? It's not just that. All this strife and chaos has affected the medallion. It's shining brighter each day. No, that can't be. The blue flames burn once more. You should get that reference. I, 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 no, I, I, unfortunately, like I said, I haven't seen the Tim and Eric show. I, I really wish I could be your hero, Lily, but unfortunately, I, I can't. Unfortunately, I'm just, I'm just not that guy. The flames of Laird's Medallion burn even brighter, yeah. The light, uh, although, to be honest, we don't know that much about the Medallion because we didn't actually finish Path of Radiance, but. The light that radiates from the medallion looks like blue fire. It's like, it's this uh, flaming aura that uh, earned the medallion its other name. The Fire Emblem. What? The Fire Emblem. The flames of the Fire Emblem indicate the awakening of the Dark God. If the war is allowed to continue, nothing can stop the Dark God's awakening. We must halt this fighting. <laughs> Wish I could finish it because it's way too cringe. And then I, I, can, only, uh, I can only handle a bit of cringe. Yeah. Cringe is, um, I, I do like cringe stuff sometimes, but sometimes I get a little bit much. I, I've i been, I've been watching, um, It's Always Sunny, which, which I like. I like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but that has a lot of, like, cringe humor in it, too, and, yeah. Is there a way to stop the fighting? We shall do uh, everything in our power to aid in, the, in that effort. We have, uh, uh, pursued peace since this, be since the beginning. Then let us wait until, uh, Prince Kurth Naga returns. He's speaking with the leaders of Dan now. Alencia, what are you doing here? Did Enna and Kurth uh, ask you to bring them to this battle? No, that wasn't the case. Prince Kurth Naga and I ran into each other on our way here. We're actually in Dan to look for Count Bastion of Fair. Lucy, you're here too? Of course, I cannot let Her Majesty out of my sight. You know that. Bastion, he's uh, been so good about sending me reports until recently. He was searching for the Black Knight, right? <laughs> look at Bastion's pose with his little hand. Why does he look like that? After the Bad King's War, Benyon set, uh, sent an envoy to investigate war crimes committed during Ashnard's reign. 
The Black Knight had uh, already left Dane before the Empire's Observer arrived, where he met remains. Uh, where he went remains a mystery. That was the last piece of information we received from Bastion. Then he sent word saying that something was more important that come uh, that had come up with regards to Crimea. He's been missing ever since. I haven't uh, I haven't heard a single word from him. Getting to Barn and Nihilus battle conversation. Oh, I've never done that. I didn't even know they had one. Bastion likes to keep his secrets. He's probably just laying low somewhere. I'm not so sure. He must have found something important, some new piece of information that he had to pursue. I ordered Joffrey to watch over Crimea and came here to begin a search for Bastion. Too dangerous for you and Lucia to travel by yourselves. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come with us? Everyone would love having you two around. Thank you, Ike. We'll gladly accept the offer. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, yeah, you don't control Tabarn, he's like an ally unit. So how do you get them to have a conversation? I guess you just have to like somehow force your way to there and hope that Tabarn follows you. Both armies to accept a temporary truce. The blue light that burns within the medallion. The blue light that burns within the medallion. To prevent the awakening of the evil trapped with rescue chains, so Jesus. Must be stopped. However, the apostle and her army refused to abandon Seferin's forces in Ben. Hey, Clayne. Thank you, thank you. Well, after we get to the after we get to the base, this is where I'm going to end the stream for today. But I appreciate it. From pain awakening. This is the final chapter of part three. A blood pact, a piece of parchment, forced you into this hopeless war. How terrible! I'm sorry for what you uh, for what you've been put through, Micaiah. The uprising of the Empire continues. The Apostles' people await her return as they fight against the Senate. Casualties mount each day. We know how urgently the Apostles' army uh, needs to reach the Empire. Got a little bit of a plan. Yeah. That sounds insane. <laughs> However, if we let their army uh, pass through Dayan, the Senate will surely invoke the Blood Pact and destroy us. So to, does Tabarn know uh, Nyla, or do they, like, meet at that point? Oh, I guess he... Oh, I guess he kind of knows Nyla, right? Because the... Because with the herons and stuff. Why haven't you told the Apostle's army all of this? Surely an alliance between your army and theirs could overcome the Senate. Attacking the Senate is not an option for us. If it were, we would have marched against them when this all started. If we were to side with Ike, the Senate would use the curse against us. The death of the Senate will not stop the curse. No matter what happens, the end result remains the same. The obliteration of Dan. What tragedy. Is there any hope for Dan at all? There is one person who holds a glimmer of hope for all of us. Queen Almeida. Queen Almeida, uh, what do you know about the Blood Pact? You know something, don't you? They basically get horny over... <laughs> That's really funny. We're going to fight each other. That's funny. You know something, don't you? I saw that look on your face. You noticed something even before Peleus told us about the pact. Is there something you know that we don't? Please tell us. Lady Al Almeida? Haven't, haven't you done enough already? It's done. Finished. Nothing matters anymore. There's nothing we can do. My Peleus. My Peleus is... Almeida, get a hold of yourself. Kurth? I can't pretend that I know uh, what you're going through, but for Peleus' sake, you must control yourself. Remember that your son made his final sacrifice in order to protect the people of Dane. Honor his memory now and help us. You're right, Kurth. I'll try. Well, thank you, uh, Lady Almeida. Now, what can you tell us about the Blood Pact? In the Bedian era, year 626, a terrible plague swept through Dane, killing over a thousand people. I remember the horror of that disease. King Ashnar took the throne after the plague killed most of the royal family, including his father. The tragedy is still f fresh in my mind. That was no disease. It was the curse of the Blood Pact. What? It was all plotted by his by my husband in a bid to claim the throne of Dane. Ashnar tricked his father into signing a Blood Pact uh, with a traveling wise man. Ashnar convinced the king that he was signing a contract to procure the services of a wise man, which was true in a fashion. With the pact signed, Ashnard had the wise man invoke the curse. My husband looked on in triumph as the royal family began to wither. The power of the curse killed every royal uh, in line for the throne. It was brilliant. With no one to block his way to the throne, Ashnard executed his master stroke. He killed his father and took the crown from, from his own head. King Ashnard killed his own father? The king of Dayan? And what, if, what about the others? A thousand people died from that insane plot. There's no point in dwelling on old words, on old wounds. Besides, the, pe the peasants didn't matter. They had no vision. Ashnard, on the other hand, Jesus. <laughs> What's important is uh, what happened after the king's death. Ashnard wasn't cursed by the blood pact. He wasn't cursed. How is that possible? In order to break the curse of the blood pact, the two conditions must be met. 
The destruction of the document itself and the death of the one bound to it. Either condition by itself is not enough. I watched it happen. King Ashnard killed his father, then tore apart the pact. Before my eyes, the mark of the the mark of the pact faded from the dead king's arm. The destruction of the document and the death of the one bound. How could you, Almeida? How could you not tell us? You knew all along. Because I was terrified. I knew that, uh... Yeah, this isn't New Game Plus, unfortunately. Peleus, Peleus is deceased. Uh, I knew that once uh, you found out the truth, you would butcher my dear son and, and save your doomed country. I would have done the same thing. Uh, I would have done anything to save Peleus. That's why I didn't say anything. How could I? In the end, though, it wasn't enough. Man, Almeida's kind of not great. I mean, you're stronger than this. You were always the brave one when we were young. Hmm? I know you grieve, but grieving will not bring Peleus back. Now is the time that you must be strong. To Peleus' spirit... To put Peleus' spirit to rest, help carry out his dying wish, and ensure the safety of his homeland. But he was... He was everything to me. How can I go on without him? Put him on the death counter? I don't know. He didn't really die. I mean, he is dead, but... Uh, I'm still here, dear sister. You still have family. Uh, sister, Lydia Almeida Almi is your sister? I received your message, my sister, and have come to help. I mean, they have the same color hair, so... Please, Almeida, allow me to protect Dayan for you and for Bellius. Do not lose hope. You are not alone anymore and never shall be. Well, he died. What I mean is he didn't... He wasn't, like, a, a character. Oh, Clint, you missed it, actually. Uh... Leonardo one-shot a, uh, a hawk with uh, the whatever his like special bow is, even though he's like level seven or something. <laughs> it was pretty dope. Oh, Kurth Naga, thank you. I'm so sorry for everything I put you and your father through. I'm so sorry. And it was actually pretty useful. Like the the hawk was being really annoying. So, Sorek, I've just received a very disturbing message from uh, Prince Kurthnaga. Don't tell me, no luck, right? It's far worse than that. Prince Kurthnaga has decided to fight for Dayan. What? Why? He was supposed to stop them from fighting! And now he wants to fight us instead? Oh, this is just perfect. He has good reason to side with them, but I'm afraid I cannot tell you why. Wonderful. So we still have to fight Dayan, and they've added one of the supposedly neutral dragons of Gildoa to their army. Leo Gaming. I'm sorry, Ike. I'll try to reason with Prince Kurth again. It was the prince's wish to come here. King Degencia knows nothing of our visit. Uh, be that as it may. Oh, somebody somebody just lit up some stuff next door. My goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. It's it stinks. Wow. Uh, be that as it may, for the Prince of the Dragon Tribe to stand on the battlefield, on a battlefield, is unacceptable. I must uh, try to talk with him. I'm sorry, Anna. I know you're doing your best to. Wait, are you talking to him with that stone? Yes, we dragons have the power to sense the presence of our allies. If that ally is someone we care for very much, then we can communicate telepathically. What, you can? With the Sending Stone, we can use this telepathy across extreme distances. Oh, Wheelie, you posted the, the Tim and Eric movie. I might check it out, actually. Like I said, I, I really like... um. Because Tim, Tim, uh, Tim from Tim and Eric does On Cinema at the Cinema, which uh, which I really like. I really think it's funny. So I always meant to watch uh, Tim and Eric. It was you, Matt. You can't blaze up like that. Dude, it, it is some terrible weed, too. It stinks, man. I just hope he listens to me. But, like, I think someone's also making pizza, so it smells like pe it smells like a combination of pizza and, and weed. <laughs> we can't afford to fuel the flames of the fire, of the fire emblem. It's almost done. Do what you can to convince the prince to stay out of this. I would have preferred to avoid a fight, but once again, Makaya isn't giving me as much of a choice. I'll do my best, Sir Ike. Okay, this is the final chapter of part three. Uh, we're actually reasonably close to the end of the game. Basically, this is the final chapter of part three. Then there are six chapters in part four. And then the uh, tower is, I think, five or six chapters. So actually, we're not that close to the end, but we'll get there. Um, but this chapter is kind of long because you got to watch a lot of combat happen. So I am going to end the stream here for today. Uh, but yeah, no more deaths other than Peleus. Technically, Peleus did die. Um, but yeah, so I'll be back uh, next Monday, as always, and we will keep going with this. Hopefully, we can finish by the end of next week, but we'll see. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your nights, enjoy your weekend, and uh, I will see you next time.